Hey everybody, this is Empress555. Thank you so much for tuning in for another E55 Chronicle. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I go live for messages like this and other readings. Leave a comment to let me know how it resonates. Okay, today everybody, we're going to talk about snakes, your enemies, people that want to see you lose, those that have an issue with you succeeding. Let's go ahead and jump into it. As we know, it is so easy to really be deceived by people that come to us, that want to shower us with love, support, all of this recognition. But the true test is to see how loyal this person and to see if they're for real. Oftentimes, I mean, you know, somebody that's a snake, they can wear so many masks. They can come to us as being our best friend, the best lover we've ever had, you know, or a complete stranger seeming like they're giving a helping hand. You know, it could come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes it's even our family. But the one thing that we have to trust is that everyone that we meet on our path, you know, whether we're heading towards a new career, a new love prospect, or dealing with our financial endeavors, each person we meet has a purpose. We have to give people the benefit of the doubt, but pay attention to the energy that they give off. Pay attention to the vibration of each person that you meet. Not everyone is good for you, but not everyone is bad for you. And oftentimes the people that are bad for you can really teach you a lesson. They can teach you how not to be. They can teach you what not to keep in your life. So I'd like to share with you a scenario. All right. Oftentimes it is so easy to be caught up in somebody telling you they love you, somebody telling you you're the only one. And that may be true. We have to give people the benefit of the doubt that are really serious. However, sometimes people use the word love so loosely and we have to be careful of people that come to try to gain something from our resources instead of trying to gain a great person in their life and being a great person to us. So when a snake is revealed to you, when somebody that's deceiving you is revealed to you, I caution you to keep yourself calm and think about your next movement. Strategize, what are you gonna do with this person? If this is a love interest and you see that this person is not positive, you see that this person is giving you a whole lot more grief than happiness. Maybe this person comes into your life and you figure out that they're jealous of you, jealous of your success, jealous of where you are. That's a person that you may have to give the gift of goodbye to. Sometimes we have to separate ourselves from family, especially if they prove to be not good for our mental health. If your mental health is not healthy, it's hard for you to function. Your sleep is off. And we all know when your sleep patterns are off, it's hard to function throughout your day. So whatever it takes to keep your mental health in check, I encourage you to do so. Everyone may not agree with your tactics when it comes to cutting people off. Everyone may not agree with your way of handling stress, but only you have to deal with you at the end of the day and late at night. Okay. So be weary and be careful of people. I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm not saying this to think negative. I'm just pointing out a situation that a lot of us face that we all could stand to be more aware of, okay? And knowing how to deal with problem people, we're always going to face them, ladies and gentlemen. We can't get away from them, okay? So knowing what to do with these types of people will help us. No, this is not a person you would like to marry. No, this is not a person you want to continue a relationship with if they're bringing these negative vibes, just poisonous to your soul. Okay, you don't want this person in your life like that. If it's family, create boundaries, create boundaries, healthy boundaries. There's nothing wrong with setting yourself apart from a healthy, uh, unhealthy family member when you're trying to stay mentally healthy. 
and anyone else, coworkers, maybe people that you have a um, business with, um, neighbors, you know, customers, clients, anyone that you may interact with that doesn't seem nice, okay? Just their whole energy seems problematic. Or maybe you know people that seem like downright snakes. Figure out healthy boundaries, you know, to apply with these people. Because a lot of times, if, especially if you're dealing with them at work or in a business, you can't just get rid of them, right? So figuring out how can you still work alongside of this person and not let them damper your spirit, create boundaries, create boundaries for problem people. Okay. I hope this helps you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonates. Information on my new channel. Please um, like, share, subscribe to Moon Energy Intuition. Thank you so much, everybody. Stay blessed and safe. Until next time. Bye.